The convention for numbering crossword puzzle grids has changed over the years. We saw in the first crossword puzzle, we saw that the numbers were given to the first and last letters of a word, and the clue said where went from number two to number three, for example. Over the years, it's evolved so that you start on the top row, and the first square that starts a word gets the number one. Then you move over to the next square that starts a word, and that gets number two. So you continue all the way across. A standard cryptic crossword grid will have eight numbers on the, on the first row. Sometimes only seven. That varies, but eight is eight is probably the most common. So we see that most of them are actually both across words and downwards. Number five we see is just an across word, and number six is a downward. Then we start on to the second row. From eight we go to nine. We have a word nine down is the next one, and on to n no other words start on that row. So we move down to the next row with the next number ten and eleven, and so on, right down to the bottom of the grid. The, the numbering of the North American style crossword is done in exactly the same way as the cryptic. We start with one in the first square that has the starter word, and then number two. And of course, because we've got more words in this grid, we have up to, in this case, 63 different words, whereas the cryptic crossword typically only goes up to something like 26. In the cryptic crossword, there are usually 28 to 32 words, but some of them, some of the numbers start two words. So it's the number of numbers used do not match the number of words.